switching over to a 18 and a half inch barreled Remington 870 12 gauge. Purpose for this is to see what rifled slugs, what point of impact we will have at 25, 50, and 75 yards. Point of aim be a black dot in the center of the chest. That's kind of what I'd expected. Pretty accurate, um, about two inches above the dot. The sights on these are set up for actually shooting at a distance a little bit, so that would make sense that at 25, it's shooting a little bit high. We'll see what it does at 50. Here we can see at 50 yards, that 12 gauge slug is still rising. Looks like it went about four or five inches high. Let's see what it does at 75. Shooting at 75. Same slug. This is kind of what I expected. The first shot right here, we know that was at 25. 50 is up here, and by the time we get to 75, that slugs on the way back down. Now the target is 100 yards away. We're going to see if we can get a 12 gauge right in there. Out here at 100 yards, you can see that that heavy shotgun slug drops off pretty considerably. I'd say it's about an 8 inch drop from my point of aim right where that black dot was. All the way down there. Before we were shooting two and three quarters inch uh, slugs at 100 yards, or at all of those targets, uh, we switched over to a three inch magnum. I just want to see what kind of kinetic energy we get on the, uh, just see what kind of impact we get at 100 yards with these slugs. That's pretty interesting. Uh, that shot is exactly where I had the sights pointed. I was uh, aiming for the head, and it probably dropped an inch below where I had it pointed at 100 yards. We're gonna fire another one of these three inch Magnum shotgun shells at pretty much point blank range into a rope built jugs. And I'm just kind of curious to see whether It'll go through all of them and just keep on going right through the cardboard target behind them. Kind of have an odd result here. Uh, the target's perfectly clean. So I don't know whether that slug deviated or if it uh, came apart. Alright, so we're still at point blank range. 3 inch 12 gauge slugs hollow pointed rifled slugs shot through a smooth barrel 18 and a half inches we're going to continue our onslaught on expired potted meat and see what happens now Wow, that was disgusting. Yeah, I don't think I would ever want to get shot with a 12 gauge slug. That was unreal. <laughs>